Hello, um, today I'm going to make some short crust pastry um, because later on today I'm going to make a game pie. Um, you can you can make short crust pastry up and then freeze it down. So I'm making I'm going to make a, a kind of bigger batch up um, and then I'm going to wrap some up and leave it in the freezer. You can always um, at a later date if you're going to be make if you know you're going to be making um, other pastry things, you can put it in the freezer and then take it out the night before and let it thaw out. Uh, which saves you a bit of time. Um, some of the some of the key things to to making good pastry is um, is just keeping everything as cold as you can. So at the moment, the water that I'm going to be using for um, for the pastry is actually I've put I've got some cold water and then I've then put it into the freezer as well. So the fat that you want to be using um, needs to come straight out of the fridge. Um, and also just try and keep your hands as cold as possible. Sometimes I, I kind of, if you're getting a bit warm or whatever, I run my hands under the cold tap, dry them off, so I'm keeping it as cold as possible. You, the, the least amount that you, 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 you um, touch it and work it, the better it will be. So you're not kneading it like bread. Um, you're just literally bringing the mixture together you're then going to put it into the um, into the fridge for half an hour, an hour, to, um, wrapped up, um, to to just like let it rest, and then when it comes out, it'll be lovely and uh, really kind of crispy when you when you do your pies. I've got my cup of tea at the ready, which is always good, as you know. I love my tea. Mm. Yorkshire tea, the only tea. Um, Right, so I'm going to go through some, uh, uh, so well, all of the ingredients with you. There's not a lot to it. Um, the, if you can stick to it, obviously the, uh, the the ingredients as much as possible, then you can be better off. Okay, we'll go through that now. Okay, so I'm on the hand cam now. Um, so this is the ingredients that you're going to need. It's very basic. Um, <clears throat> I've got my jug of water here. There's 125 mils, but there's actually more in here, but you would uh, you would have 125 mils um, when you're making um, when you're making the pastry. Um, basically, what we're going to do first is rub the fat and the flour together, um, and then we're going to add the water at the end. Um, don't go in, chuck all the water in in one go. Just dribble a little bit in at a time because you don't want to. Um, you can always add it, but you can't take it away. So you don't want to end up with a, a, a soggy kind of dough. Um, as you can see here, look, the um, it's got ice, ice on the top of the water, so that's cooled down nicely. Um, we've got uh, 500 grams of plain flour. Um, this this recipe is basically half fat to flour, so 500 grams of flour, and then we've got 125 grams of lard and 125 grams of butter. Um, as you can see, I've cut these up quite finely because it just makes it easier to incorporate it into the flour. Um, <clears throat> when you're cutting them up like that, you are handling it a little bit more so it kind of will warm up a little bit. So there's no problem with that. Just chuck it in the freezer for five minutes and it cools it all right back down again. Um, okay, and then we've got um, a pinch of salt. Okay. Okay. So where we're going to start, I'm going to put uh, a good pinch of salt in. And then I'm going to add the lard and the butter. And I'm just going to combine it all together. Basically, rub it between your finger and your your fingers and your thumb. And you can just keep um, keep doing this until it's turned into like a kind of bread crummy, biscuity kind of consistency and you've got no lumps in there and you've worked all 
the fat into the flour. Okay, so we've got our mixture now. It's, um, as you can see, sort of bread crummy. Nice and light. Just keep it, um, try and keep it light. Don't compact it all. Um, just go through it, check to make sure you haven't got no massive lumps of fat. It's all combined. Okay, so that's good. So all we're going to do is make a, a little well in the middle. Like that. Then we're going to go ahead and add some water. This water's got a tiny bit of ice on the top. Um, it doesn't matter, it's just going to help it keep it cooler to be honest. So I'm going to put a, a, probably about four tablespoons of water in here at the moment. Um, like I said before, don't put it all in in one go because you can't take it out again. Just work it round. Use one hand to just work it round. You wait in, what you're looking for is you're just looking for the all the flour and fat and that to just just come together. You're not looking for a paste or anything like that. Okay. So again, I'll just add another little bit of water. It can all depend on kind of really what flour you're using and stuff like that, but. You need to just be careful not to add too much water. We don't want to overwork the pastry too much because you don't want the glutens kind of working in the bread because that will make it stretchy and chewy. You can see it's just starting to come together now. I'm going to put a little bit more water in. Oh, chucking it everywhere. Tiny bit more in. So now I've come together. I'm not kneading it, I'm just trying to get into shape. Okay, right, get rid of that mess. So, what we're going to do now. Oh, okay. I'm going to get some. cling film and then just put this in here, wrap it up so it doesn't dry out and we're going to put it in the fridge for approximately half an hour to an hour. Okay. That's all good to go. Okay, so that's going to go in the fridge for half an hour to an hour.